Hello students, the question is, three solid spheres, each of mass m and diameter d, are stuck together such that the lines connecting the centers form an equilateral triangle of side d. The ratio Io by Ia of moment of inertia, where Io is the moment of inertia of the system about an axis passing to the centroid, which is O, you can see here and about Ia is the moment of inertia of the system about center of any of the spheres Ia you can see this is the center of the sphere A and perpendicular to the plane of the triangle is the options are given this question is taken from J. Main 2029 January 1st of now we all know moment of inertia of a solid sphere about its diameter is given by 2 by 5 m r square where m is the mass of the sphere and r is the radius of the sphere in this case it is 2 by 5 small m mass of each sphere is small m and diameter is d therefore radius is d by 2 so this is m d square divided by 10 right student this is moment of inertia of each sphere about its diameter now these are the three spheres see and this is the equilateral triangle the size of the triangle is also d now first we have to find moment of inertia of the system about the centroid of the triangle this is the point O for that we need to know parallel axis theorem parallel axis theorem says that moment of inertia of any axis which is parallel to another axis which is passing through the center of mass of a body is given by the sum of moment of inertia of the body about the axis passing to its center of mass plus m d square or m x square for this where x is the perpendicular distance between the two axes suppose this is the body this is its center of mass moment of inertia of this body about its center of mass is i com and we need to find moment of inertia of the same body about another axis like this which is situated which is parallel to this axis and situated at distance x then moment of inertia i equals to i com plus mx square is where m is the mass of the body okay now proceed to the next slide let's draw the triangle This is the triangle. If I zoom out, this is the center. This is an equilateral triangle of side D. Right? Now, we know for an equilateral triangle, height, formula for height is root 3 by 2 into side. Right? And the centroid, and the centroid divides this median into the ratio of 2 is to 1 right and we have to find this part because this is the center of mass of each sphere and this should be the distance x so the value of x is 2 third of the height which is root 3 by 2 into side which is d by root 3 ok student I hope you understand therefore I about O is for a single sphere for a single sphere I com is as I mentioned in the last part I com is MD square by 10 so MD square by 10 plus MX square 
where x is this distance or you can say this distance or this distance and this distance is what d by root 3 so d by root 3 square now this is for a single sphere there are three spheres so i o should be into 3 right this is m d square which is 13 by 10 right student so i o is this now now we have to find i a i a is the moment of inertia of the system about this point a right now for i a let's draw the diagram again for this sphere i a is nothing but moment of inertia of this sphere about its own center of mass now for this sphere this is i com right this is i com and the distance is what d and for this sphere this is i com and the distance is still d right therefore i a for for this sphere m d square by 10 which is i com for the this sphere it is m d square by 10 plus m d square right and for the last sphere that is this sphere it is i com plus m x square which is nothing but 3 m d square by 10 plus 2 m d square m d square common lcm 10 23 by 10 m d square this is i a look at the question they want i o divided by i a so i o divided by i a is equal to 13 divided by 23 look at the option option c is correct thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel file solver